Hi guys, let's have a look at paperback book formatting for KDP. Now this is particular to KDP, but it's probably equally important for any of the other formats that you're using. It's just that KDP, regardless of what type of document you send them, converts that document to PDF. And as it happens, Affinity Publisher is very good at doing PDF. So let's look at KDP paperback formatting using Affinity Publisher. So the overview for formatting your paperback. When you create a paperback book on KDP, for, for KDP, you need to format and upload two files, really. Now this is a paperback, not necessarily a Kindle book, but one you're going to print. A manuscript file, which is the interior of your book, including front matter, body matter, and back matter. And a cover file, the second document, which is the outside of your book, including the front, back, and spine. Now, here and I'll provide steps on how to format both files, plus tools and resources to help you get started. And, readily, and these are readily available on KDP. Now, having said that, I'm not going to go into the cover formatting because that's really well covered in other videos I've done. This is just to avoid confusion about why you should upload PDF to KDP. So format your interior file by following the steps below. Set your trim size and margins. Set the size of your book and margins. If you have visual elements that reach the edge of the page, Set up your interior file with bleed. In other words, if you have a manuscript that's got some images in it, take them right out to the edge of the page, if they're that size, in fact. But if you do, make sure your document, your interior file, has bleeds. That way you won't end up with an ugly white margin all around your lovely full page image. Create front, body, and back matter. Create your front matter. That's hello, welcome, um, in memory of, um, and all sorts of things like that. The body and the back matter elements, such as title pages, copyright page, chapter headings, and the author biography. Now, save manuscript, manuscript for upload. Save your interior file the right way to avoid errors. Once saved, you can upload and preview your file. More on this later. Choose one of three ways to create your paperback cover. You can use our free tool, that's KDP. Create a cover that meets KDP specifications with the KDP Cover Creator tool. It's really easy to use and this really is a good piece of software. It's not terribly difficult to get used to and it can save you hours of frustration, especially if you're new to design. Personally, I prefer to do my own and use one of their templates, but it's your choice. And that's where you can download a cover template. Create a print-ready paperback cover with any software that will open a PNG or PDF file, and that's Affinity Photo. Save it as a PDF using the KDP cover calculator and templates, which are freely available on their site. Create your own cover. Now... Use the KDP cover guide with detailed specifications to create your own cover. KDP's own calculator can help you with your book dimensions. And there's the address there. Now this is beginning to sound a bit like an advertisement for KDP. But if you're printing a book and you want it in print, or you want it as a Kindle book, um, like a, an electronic version, an e-book if you like, then you can use this either way. But this is aimed more at the print book format, I guess. Save your manuscript file. Before you upload your manuscript, make sure you save it in the right format with the correct settings. And that's really what this video is all about. The file guidelines, specifications and common errors to check before uploading your book for publication follow. Now, bleed. If your book has images or elements that bleed to the edges of your pages, you must upload your manuscript as a PDF. 
even if you don't upload it as a PDF, <coughs> excuse me, if you upload it as a Word document, KDP will convert it to a PDF anyway. So you may as well convert it to a PDF where you are and you can check that it all fits perfectly on the page. Now, file guidelines. If you use no bleed, if your book does not contain bleed, you can upload your manuscript as a PDF, a doc, a docx, an RTF, HTML or text file. Good luck with any of those and getting the format right. But in red, KDP will automatically convert these file types to PDF prior to publishing or printing. And that's worth noting. So why not do it as a PDF to start with? And that way you know what you send looks like what you'll get. Now, file specifications. Shall I read through all of these? Possibly not. File size. The maximum limit is 650 megabytes. So, I don't know what you'd do to create a book that big, but it'd be an awfully big book. Marks and comments. No crop marks, trim marks, bookmarks, invisible objects, annotations, placeholders or metadata. And printer marks should be disabled. Now you'll see that in your export in Affinity Publisher. You can enable printer marks, but don't. KDP hates them and your manuscript will be rejected. Do not lock or encrypt the files you send. Make sure in the export um, part of your document, embed all fonts in your native file prior to submission. All fonts be fully embedded rather than embedding as subsets. And you can do that on occasion. But just make sure all your fonts are embedded. If they can't read the font, they won't print it and it'll be rejected. Embed all images in your native file prior to submission. In other words, don't have them external. Embed them. Have them internal to your document. All images, both cover and manuscript, should be at least 300 dpi. Don't try and send them 72 or 96 because you're trying to cheat on space. Make them all 300 dpi and you'll have no problem. Flatten transparent objects and layers in the file before publishing. Interesting. If you've got a, an image in your book cover or on the cover or inside the book and it's got a transparent background, get rid of it all. Make sure that's a flattened object, no transparency. If KDP see a transparent object in your file anywhere, reject it. Go find it and redo it. Page count. KDP will calculate your page count based on your manuscript file, rounding up to an even number if necessary. The minimum page and maximum page count depends on the book format, ink, paper and trim size options you've chosen. Page spreads, really important. How many people fall over this? And I'll mention it again later. We, re we require from KDP single pages only. So each page is you export it as individual pages. Don't even export as spreads or two up files. Okay, a little bit more. Grayscale, um, yeah, okay. A minimum grayscale fill of 10%. I can't imagine any book that you're going to have grayscale in. Line width. If your book contains lines, that is a chart, table or graphics element, Give the lines a minimum thickness, or weight if you like, of 0.75 point, or 0.01, which is 0.3 millimetres. Page turn direction. Um, ancient Chinese books you read from the back to the front, and some, um, uh, some Arabic books. But, for most languages, KDP only supports books formatted to read from left to right. Um, so if you've got a few others, Hebrew, Yiddish and Japanese, um, that's right to left, so they will support those. If you're writing in Japanese, you're probably not reading this anyway. To learn more, see their supported languages. You'll find all that on their website. 
fonts, embed all fonts in your file. Fonts should be fully embedded. Orientation, all pages and content must be oriented the same way. Pages can contain some upside down text as long as the rest of the page is right side up. A book of riddles with answers printed upside down on the page is a good example. Bleed, again mentioned. Specified page size matches the intended trim size plus bleed, if applicable. You may lose the bleed you included in your native document if it's not printed to the proper size. Now your trim size does not include the bleed. So be careful of that. You might have to sit there and look at this for a while. But if you've got a 6 by 5 inch page, it'll have bleed around it. But your trim size, that's once it's been cut and the bleed disappears, is still 6 by 5 So, create a paperback PDF file. For best results, it's recommended you convert your paperback manuscript file to a PDF before uploading it to KDP. Choose one of the methods suggested to create a PDF file intended for high quality printing. Be sure to save your documents before creating your PDF file so you can edit them later if you want. When creating a PDF for upload, create a new file. Saving over previous versions can sometimes compound upon corrupted data, which can create delays in uploading, processing and production. So even though you've saved your document as a PDF and you've tested it and you've exported it and you've had a look and you said, yep, this is really nice. When you're going to upload it to KDP, do a new one. Very simple. Now. This is the magic of Affinity Publisher. You can choose to print, export or save as PDF depending on your editing software. Well, of course, we're using Affinity Publisher. Whichever method you choose, make sure you enable the following PDF specific settings in addition to the file specs above. Use PDF slash X format. And in fact, KDP prefer PDF slash X minus 1a. But if you're submitting non-PDFX files, for example PDFA and why would you, any comments, forms or other non-printing objects could be removed during the review. So fine. Downsampling or decreasing resolution of images is disabled. Remove PDF creation logos or watermarks. Well, you shouldn't have any of those, so don't try and put watermarks in your book or your images. KDP will fall over them. Your submission will be rejected. Optimise PDFs. Optimisation is useful to reduce your file size, allowing for higher performance when transferring, uploading, viewing and printing the files. Be careful with optimisation. It can sometimes really mess up your PDF. So if you're going to optimise it, mm, just be careful. It's not a native setting of Affinity Publisher anyway, so you can probably ignore that. Any other settings should be left to default in most cases. If you're not certain how to change these settings, I suggest you consult the help content of your chosen software, i.e. Affinity Publisher. Once created, Make sure to open the PDF file to see that it appears as you intended. Otherwise, make the necessary adjustments in the document and recreate the PDF file. Now, print to PDF. With the document open in Affinity Publisher, select Export to PDF. Select the PDFX-1A-2003 from the list of PDF options you can export to. Click Bleed. The PDF-1A preset will disappear. And you'll think, oh no, I can't do Bleed and have PDFX-1A. But you can. Select More from the bottom of the menu and select the PDFX-1A-2003 from the compatibility options and again check on include bleed. 
You can see those first ones that come up are presets. You can actually create your own preset. Once you've got all that set up, click the bottom there where it says manage presets, create your own preset. When you've got all that set and you'll notice that printer marks are turned off, you don't want printer marks, click on export. Provide a name and location for the PDF file you're exporting to. It may default to the current name and location of the native document. So just watch what you're doing at that stage. OK, finished PDF. Once created, make sure to open the PDF file to see that it appears as you intended. Otherwise, make the necessary adjustments in the document and recreate. Once you've saved your file, you're ready to upload and preview your file in KDP. Here's your manual review checklist. All book details exactly match the information in your files. Yes, you've got all that. Bleed. Contents in your manuscript file that you want to reach all the way to the edge of the page must extend 3.2 millimetres past your trim line, that's your bleed, at the top, bottom and outside edges. If it's the inside edge, which is the binding, you don't need bleed because that bit's not cut off. The cover is sized for bleed and any background, colour or images extends 3.2 millimetres or 0.125 inches past the trim line. There's a clue. That's the size of your bleed. Don't just leave some obscure default there. Make it right. Otherwise, KDP will <laughs> reject your submission. Now, we've got some more. The page numbers in your manuscript file are in sequential order with even numbers on left pages and odd numbers on the right. Recto verso. This is a standard, well, industry standard. Even numbers on left pages and odd numbers on the right. Now what's page number one? That's an odd number, 13579. So you, you re usually start your book on the right hand side. There are no more than two consecutive blank pages. So don't just insert blank pages in your book to pad it out. Illegible text. Make sure your text is large and clear enough so that readers can enjoy your book. Well, that stands to reason, doesn't it? Just check a few of the following things there. One of the ones you see quite often is text that blends into the background. You're not testing your reader's eyesight. <laughs> You're just making life difficult. Make sure you can read your text. Now, spine text. The spine of your book has to be at least 0 0.625 on each side. If the text is too large, it can wrap onto the front or back cover. Nope, you don't want that, so you want that little gap between the edges of your spine and your text. Make sure your book has enough pages to provide a spine width at all. Now, if you've used a KDP template, make sure you hide it or remove it before you try and send it up, because... If it's sitting there and it's visible, your book's going to look a bit of a mess. Margins. Now, this is one that KDP will trip you up on. If you have margins in your manuscript, and you will have margins in your manuscript if you formatted it properly, make sure your content doesn't extend past the margins. If you say your margins are half an inch all around. Make sure you don't start your text a quarter of an inch in from the edge. Don't put your text boundaries. Make sure your text boxes fit inside your margins. KDP will reject your document if it's outside the margins. It doesn't just cause the content from being cut off during manufacturing. And they're not talking about bleeds here. If your information is outside the margins, you can run into problems. 
The text on your cover doesn't extend past the cover edge. This can cause the text to be cut off during manufacturing. In other words, it's the same as bleed. Bundling. Now that's an issue that you're probably not going to worry about. Make sure there's no language in your files that implies your book is part of a bundled set. Each book needs to be an individual book. Even if you've got a series of six, that's not a bundle. Okay, now here's an example. A5 minimalist photo book, 30 pages, A5 standard bleed, and it's available for print or digital. And you can see on the left hand side there, the page, there's a master page. Page 1 begins on the right, and there's 2 and 3, 3 and 4, 4 and 5, 6, 7, and so on down the, the line there. Now, when you export A5 for print, bleed in all pages, not spreads, you can see I've clicked include bleed. I did originally set the um, PDF slash X1A in the presets, it's there, but the preset doesn't include bleeds. If you insist on using the preset, it switches off bleeds. Now, this is a PDF file that KDP want, and they really do want bleed. But before you go off this page, you can see I've got the pop up there with all pages clicked, current spread, all spread. You want all pages. Then next, select more, and up pops that. Now you can go back in. You can set the compatibility to PDFX slash 1A2003, and then you can go down a little bit and tick on include bleed. And you see right down the bottom, you can manage presets. In other words, you could make that a preset so that when you bring up your book, you just select the preset you want, bleeds on, PDF X1A is on, and so forth. Easy as. Close that. Select Export from your file menu. Give your document a meaningful name and save it. We're nearly there. Individual pages, not spreads. You can see this is the preview document. A5 minimalist photo book PDF. There's the front page, A and D story photo book. And obviously it's A5 landscape, which is very nice. Now you can see the photo, <laughs> excuse me, the photo there is right up to the edge on the bottom. So it's going to be trimmed. You don't want any white border around that. Then there's page two, three, four down the column. Individual pages, not spreads. So that's it for this little video. I hope that's been of some help because there does seem to be a lot of confusion about this. Now, other publishing companies will have other ways of doing this. But if you understand KDP's requirements, it can make the other ones a little easier when you get to them. They don't all convert documents to PDF. But so many people say, oh, I wish Affinity Publisher did EPUBs. You don't want EPUBs. You just want a good PDF. Print it to a book. Now, if you're going to print this as, for example, a Kindle book, then your content is pure text, and that's a PDF file. It doesn't matter. Don't try and force chapters and things like that. And a single page cover. Too easy to make. But this is for print. Good old fashioned print. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up to help me count them all. And ring the bell. If you tap the bell, you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching.